guys, this is Jack C99 and today we're back for our brand new video and we're back in the same uh, familiar place. Before this video starts guys, make sure to like, share and subscribe and we are 5 subscribers away from hitting 70 subs and almost about to complete our YouTube goal. 5 subs, can we do it is a question, that is a question. It is going to be Hibernian who hosts Kilmarnock at Easter Road tomorrow. And we've not had the best of seasons, but in my opinion, right, I blame VAR. But the question is, I don't just blame VAR, I blame the players that can't see the game out. It's pathetic. We've had a good reputation against Kilmarnock, home and away. We've not conceded so much goals under Kilmarnock uh, this season so far and last season because last season Kilmarnock couldn't beat us at all apart from Rugby Park but that was it but Easter Road they just couldn't win I'm not going to jinx that because I know for a fact that when they come to Easter Road this weekend is it going to be a win is it going to be a draw is it going to be a defeat well let me tell you guys I can't say what it'll be but I can always say is we need a friggin win we don't get that then we're uh, in a heap of trouble there's something else i want to say right nick montgomery right is our manager you can't keep saying monty out and all that see people like that don't deserve to if you're going to be like that and just want the manager sacked after so long support a different team because to be honest with you it is disgusting behavior he's only been there seven weeks it's not his fault He's guiding the team on as best as he can. The question is, we've got the players in the squad, but they can't cope with his formations. He gets the boards back in, in the January transfer window. Hopefully, he can bring in players that will be more capable of his 4-4-2 formation. The question is, who will Nick Montgomery bring in in January transfer window? I don't know. But we need a centre back, a backup centre backs, probably a couple of centre backs that are backups. We need to look at the midfield. We need a defensive midfielder, in my opinion, to strengthen the midfield and defence a hundred percent. Hopefully, if we can do that in January, I think we're going to see a wee bit of a clear out. I think we're going to see a wee get rid of the dead wood that is still left. Uh, and I think in the summer we're going to see all the people that are out of contract at the end of the summer. Louis Stevenson, Paul Hanlon, David Marshall, Jake Doyle Hayes and many more being shown the door. So we need new faces now and they have been good servants, Paul Hanlon and Louis Stevenson. But all I'm saying is, is it's time to freshen up the squad this summer. i saying what Nick Montgomery should do is clear out the last of the deadwood and start again the players that are in that squad that got the previous three managers sacked and we need to look at it and say right you need to sit down with the players and say right every player that's out of contract you 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 time's up time to go and bring in more stronger more attacking players to replace their positions and see what happens in this january slash summer transfer window next year the question is, every result we've had at Easter Road has either been a 2-0 against Kilmarnock or a 1-0 since Kilmarnock have returned to top flight. What's my prediction? What's your predictions? My prediction? 3-0. I'm feeling confident about this one because if he puts the lineup out that got put out on Wednesday night, that team done well. And he shouldn't have changed it because I think we could have won that game if he didn't make the changes. We'd done well. It was all young players. We'd done well. Apart from David Marshall, he was only old and 30s goalkeepers. Those players on field were young and they done well. And congratulations to Rory Whitaker and John Launders that got their first first team start. Or made their appearance. I think it was Josh Wanders that made his appearance. So another 16 year old. And then obviously Rory Whitaker that got his first start. So it was good to see Rory Whitaker get his first start. The question is, is this going to be the start of young players getting a chance more often? And try to strengthen the squad more better by using the young players more. Giving them game time in the first team. 
and then people that are in the development squad dying for a game to see what that'll mean for them when they come up as well. But it isn't going to be an easy game at Easter Road. I just want to see Hibs win tomorrow. If we don't win tomorrow, then we're going to be down a hole. We're going to be in huge trouble. We just need three points tomorrow. It's going to be a huge game tomorrow at Easter Road. Obviously, I'll be in the Hibs hospitality with my dad tomorrow in the Edinburgh Cobb, so I'll have a bit much more of a different view for the game for a more higher up part of the stadium and get a good rough idea of how Nick Montgomery, Montgomery's team play and then just see what the issues really are. Because then the reason why I wanted to sit with my dad for that game is because I want to get a rough idea of what Nick Montgomery's doing. With the squad, I can kind of see it in, like when you see the highlights of Hibs games, but I want to see it for myself in a stadium and be like, right, here's what needs sorted. Defence, probably we needs a good... Tr well, the defence is good, but the midfield's my worry at the moment. If we can try and strengthen that, plus the defence a wee bit more, then we should be in with a good bit of luck if we get them fixed, because the defence is looking good uh, in recent Days, but it's the midfield I think what it is is when players get up to the top of the park I've seen this at Hamden the players go to the top of the, the pitch to go and try and score but then they just lose the ball like that we need to work on that and we need to try and get right behind the team tomorrow and just see what happens because it isn't going to be an easy game Kilmarnock are a different team this season we've seen that when we played them away for Nick Montgomery's first game which ended 2-2 the question is can we win at Easter Road tomorrow I think we can I'm sticking with a 3-0 guys let me know your predictions on Hibs supporters group and I'm going to leave it there ok guys that's going to do it for today's video you've been watching Jack C99 once again make sure to like share and subscribe and hopefully you guys can help me reach 70 subscribers and who knows what Hibs fans will see at uh, Easter Road tomorrow. Obviously, I'm in the hospitality, so it'll just be fans in there, probably. And uh, probably some Hibs players in the match day vlog tomorrow as well. Who knows? Uh, but apart from that, guys, you've been watching Jack C99. And that has been me, Jack C99. And bye-bye.